అంబేద్కర్ సమాన్యో మారా అమ్మ కన్సల్టెంట్ ఇన్ హ్యూమన్ డోనకాలజీ ఇన్ దెన్ ఇట్ జస్ట్ యు కే 20 3 ఇయర్స్ హస్ బీన్ కోలాబరేటింగ్ విత్ ద డాక్టర్స్ ఇన్ శ్రీ లంక ఇన్ రన్నింగ్ ద బ్లడ్ క్యాన్సర్ సెంటర్ ఇన్ ద ప్రైవేట్ సెక్టర్ ఇన్ ఆ ఇన్ ఆ లీడింగ్ ప్రైవేట్ హాస్పిటల్ ఇన్ శ్రీ లంక వి హావ్ ఎస్టాబ్లిష్ దట్ సెంటర్ ఫర్ డయాగ్నోసిస్ అండ్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ బ్లడ్ క్యాన్సర్స్ అండ్ ఆల్సో ద వెన్యూ వాస్ యూస్డ్ ఫర్ ట్రైనింగ్ పర్పసెస్ వి వర్ ఏబుల్ టు ట్రైన్ ఇన్ ద ఫస్ట్ ఫ్యూ హిమటోన్కాలజిస్ట్ ద శ్రీ లంక అండ్ hematology trainees in the same institute and we continue to care for blood cancer and it has comprehensive service network including the facility for bone marrow transplants uh, cancer is a genetic disorder generally we consider it as a disorder arising due to changes in your genetic uh, structures so that doesn't mean that uh, cancers come in families most of these genetic changes happen after we were born so they are not inherited but cancer in general is a genetic disease due to changes in our genetic material i am a specialist in hematology in other words uh, blood cancers when it comes to blood cancers they are cancers arising from blood bone marrow and lymph nodes or what we call lymphatic system so blood lymph nodes and bone marrow are interconnected and any cancer arising from that are called blood cancers for general understanding that is a over simplified version so you would have heard about names such as leukemia or lymphoma or myeloma those are the three main types of blood cancers however there are thousands of subtypes of blood cancers for example in leukemia there are chronic leukemias acute leukemias then we have leukemias arising from lymphoid lineage that is a different type of white cells and also there is a leukemia arising from myeloid lineage that is a different type of white cells we have five different types of white cells and also there are precursors to them so a leukemia can arise from any of those cells summary blood cancer is not a single disorder there are thousands of different types of blood cancers and it is very important to know the exact type of blood cancer and also sometimes related to underlying genetic changes just because they are very important in diagnosis as well as in treatment in the current era